What's involved with healthy fasting? What is the healthy length of time someone should fast? What's involved in fasting? And what foods or drinks one can consume during the fasting period? Additionally, we'll explore whether fasting is safe for all ages or if there are any potential risks to be aware of. What is fasting? Fasting is the practice of abstaining from food or drink for a certain period of time. Fasting has been practiced for centuries for spiritual and health reasons. It can be done in several ways, including intermittent fasting, time-restricted feeding, and water fasting. Intermittent fasting involves alternating periods of fasting and eating, while time-restricted feeding involves eating only during a certain time period each day. Water fasting involves abstaining from all food and drink except for water for a set period of time. Healthy length of time to fast. The length of time that one should fast varies depending on the individual and the type of fast they are doing. Intermittent fasting can be done on a daily or weekly basis, and typically involves fasting for 12 to 16 hours per day. Time-restricted feeding typically involves eating within a 6 to 8 hour window each day. Water fasting can be done for several days or even up to a week, but should only be done under medical supervision. It's important to note that extended periods of fasting can be dangerous and should only be done under the supervision of a healthcare professional. Prolonged fasting can lead to dehydration, nutrient deficiencies, and other health complications. What can you consume during a fast? What you can consume during a fast depends on the type of fast you are doing. During intermittent fasting and time-restricted feeding, you can consume water, black coffee, and tea without any sweeteners or milk. Some people may also choose to consume bone broth or other low-calorie liquids during their fasting period. Water fasting involves abstaining from all food and drink except for water. It's important to stay hydrated during a water fast to avoid dehydration. Some people may also choose to consume electrolyte drinks or supplements to replace lost electrolytes. It's important to note that consuming anything with calories, even small amounts, can break a fast and affect the benefits of fasting. Is fasting safe for all ages? Fasting can be safe for most people, but there are some potential risks to be aware of. Children, pregnant women, and people with certain medical conditions should not fast without the supervision of a healthcare professional. Children should not fast as it can interfere with their growth and development. Pregnant women should not fast as it can affect the health of both the mother and the baby. People with diabetes, heart disease, or other medical conditions should consult with their healthcare provider before starting a fasting regimen. It's important to listen to your body during a fast and stop if you experience any adverse symptoms. Fasting can cause headaches, dizziness, and other symptoms, especially when starting out. It's important to start slowly and gradually increase the length of your fasts over time. In conclusion, fasting can be a beneficial practice for improving physical and mental health. The length of time one should fast depends on the type of fast they are doing and should be done under medical supervision if doing an extended fast. What you can consume during a fast depends on the type of fast you are doing, but it's important to avoid consuming anything with calories. While fasting can be safe for most people, it's important to consult with a healthcare professional before starting a fasting regimen, especially if you have any underlying medical conditions or are taking medication. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And if you found this video helpful, please like and share it with others who may benefit from this information. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.